Maybe if you win, we'll send you a pregnant Barbie doll. Done. Or you send me a doll, doll and I'll make it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> so, my, that's, that's not how mating works. <laughs> हेलो हे तो बेसिकली एलेक्स ने मेरे को बुलाया था एक हफ्ते पहले कुछ तो अपेरेंटली कुछ तो ट्रिविया है उसके फादर भी रहेंगे तो पता नहीं क्या सीन रहेगा भाई घोड़े का पर भाई मजा आएगा जो भी होगा हम लोग कुछ ट्रिविया आता है नहीं सारा जनरल नॉलेज तो अपने जीरो है ये सूरज है आप अर्थ पे इधर हो तो जैसे आप रिकॉर्ड करते हो सन तो स्टेशनरी है ना Welcome Ots. Hi Samai. Hey. What I'm nervous about is I just opened this thing Papa both is bullshit trivia show and I have I don't know jack shit about US president Supreme Court so I'm nervous. <laughs> Even if you know about US presidents you're probably not going to know the answer. It is very difficult trivia. So Papa Botes, you're on the call as well. Do you want to introduce how the show is going to work? Hey guys. First of all, I uh, tested my questions yesterday. Uh, on my Canadian family and okay. uh husband and wife and the the wife was totally awake but the husband was after uh, let's call it 15 minutes of smoking marijuana which is legal in Canada Oh my god dad where are you going with that <laughs> I'm not going fine, anywhere all I'm dad. saying that the the guy got more than 50% of the answers and she got one Coming so, back in 2 minutes And uh, Papa Bot has added this rule where if you guys agree on the same answer and you get it right, you get 3 points. Okay. If you want to split up and you get it right, you get 1 point. So we're going to okay. see which team has the most points at oh. the end. Why why don't we get started? So Samai and Ots, which category do you guys want to start with? Can we go with right. Apollo 11 trivia or Okay, I'm 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 trusting you on this one. Let's go, yeah. All sure. right. Ots, yeah. A is definitely not true, right? Um obviously I, not. I, I I would I would think not. Yeah. I would honestly think not. Is is there any thing called Van Halen radiation or did he just make a Van Halen to Van Halen? I I think there might be something like that but I I I don't think. The third one honestly could be whatever. If we want to play it safe, you go C, I go D. If we want to risk it, we both go D, I say. Let's go with C and let's be safe in the beginning, right? Let's earn some points. Right. I'll I'll take C. I'll take okay, D. Guys. So the answer for you guys is going to be A and you can see the general declaration. <laughs> so I like that you you took that one out right away. So, you know, the moon visitors are subject to the same procedure. US uh, immigration it's US immigration, man. You you don't deal. I I don't care where you're coming from. Like what's the point of going to the moon if you have to go through customs? <laughs> you just came yeah, from you the moon, man. How will we ever recover from this disaster? Ah. <laughs> Girls, your turn. Let's do Andrea You don't like geography? Yes, definitely not. We'll Care take to the take US Supreme one. Court. So, A is nuclear bomb shelter, which seems too obvious for bullshit trivia. So, I'd be between B and C. C also seems too obvious. Okay, basketball. Or are we just going to guess the least or obvious answer? Or we could answer. do B and C and split up our points. No, we're a unity. A unit? A unit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. All right, Andrea, what's our final answer? I would say B and C. B. You have a B. Okay. So, when I thought about what answer to made up, I thought that everyone would going to think that the nuclear bomb shelter must be there. Uh, also, they don't have a Starbucks store over there. So, the answer must be Yes. Whoa! yes! And you both oh, got it right. I don't think anyone plays basketball, but they have all those uh, younger people helping them. Uh, Samai, you go ahead, uh, man. I messed up the last one. Let's go Aww. medical. Let's go medical terms. Medical, all right. Let's go medical. Yeah. I think C sounds more like the name of a dinosaur mixed with stenographer. The first one doesn't seem right. C doesn't sound quite right. It doesn't seem like. like a proper name a b i would almost believe so i would say it's between b and d and we can play it safe or we can try to catch up and and double down what do you think we should do shivastic see the thing is i can completely imagine it being shivastic yeah, yeah, that sounds it, it like the it, correct word for that condition you know yeah <laughs> like it could totally be true you know what i'm going with i'm going with you let's double down on b 
All right, let's double down on B. Okay. All right. I was very impressed with Ott's um, uh, logic here. I was really impressed. So pretty much watching TV during the night at 4 a.m. really pays up. Based on the Indian roots, I was almost sure I'm gonna catch you with a B. No. Uh, the thing is, no. <laughs> the thing is, is, you know, it's in your beliefs and the gods oh, of India are famous. Oh, this was made on purpose? Oh man, this is so no even. This is so, so even. Um, oh my God! So oh my God! Just played. I. I thought this was made beforehand. He knew no Shiva is one of those words I've heard since childhood, so it'll ring a bell somewhere. Wait, but how, how did he know we would pick this one? Like, okay, so it's, okay, it's okay. We have questions. We'll catch up. We are, we are getting there. Okay. All right, fair enough. Okay, okay. Ot, which category do you want us to take? Um, I'll go with Walmart. Yeah, sure. That might that might be that sounds like it's everyday life that they might be familiar with. So Walmart has pregnant Barbie dolls for sale. <laughs> Why is Samai laughing? You're gonna, if they're gonna guess something and it's gonna be pregnant Barbie dolls for sale, I'm gonna fall down laughing. I feel like, I don't know, I actually have never seen a pregnant Barbie doll. Because I you have, never went to Walmart. I, I did go to Walmart. So I, feel like, I think we should steal part of Ots and Samai's strategy. We should pick one that, that is don't. just no way this is the case and one that we think is the case. I'll go with D. I, I think it's A or B. So I'm gonna say B. So dad, we're going with B and D. B and D, I got we're you. We're doing our opposite, yes. Yeah. So in, as, a, as a funny fact is the fact that uh, I think they offer pregnant Barbie dolls for, for sale to, to Walmart and they said no. Ooh. Okay, and the same thing I, I tried to, to, you know, to pick up on Samai because it was the Indian god. I, I thought this one I'm gonna pick on you, and as soon as you see Stanford, you're gonna nah. Walmart doesn't have a lower acceptance rate than Stanford, but though it's way lower. I told you there's a huge pool. Yeah, I would have still so gone with like, bar pregnant no. Barbie dolls. I think. Don't worry, Samai, we'll send you. We'll send you some as a present. Okay. Done. Or you send me a doll, doll and I'll make it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Samai, that's that's not how mating works. <laughs> Should we, uh, should we discover this new thing, Kamikaze? Should we try to go into this random yeah, yeah, it's, area? Yeah, it's time, to, it's time to be daring and take a risk, I feel. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so Kamikaze looks like a Barbie doll, this one. Maybe that's why he picked it up. Yeah. Okay, ready, let's go. <laughs> what is flatulence? Uh, flatulence is, far, is fart, farting. Ah. Okay. So the, the first option looks like too obvious for Papa Bota's quiz. It but, is, I, I think I think the first one is wrong. You know what? Eminem just released, uh, you know, had this album Kamakazi, and Eminem is like one of those guys who's like who has a bad hardcore demeanor. So he wouldn't name his album after a uh, divine fart, no? It's 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 not just it's not just Eminem, which I guess is something to consider. But Kamikaze, where was the name of, of like the act that in World War II soldiers were were made to go through, yeah. where they would. They would do drugs, they would uh, pilot a plane straight into the enemy, right? Yeah. That's correct, Ots. And, That's correct. And it would make sense to name that, uh, taking something from tradition to like um, embolden the, the, the Japanese soldiers. That's also what they, why they gave them tons of drugs. So I don't think they would name that act uh, after so much parts. It can't be B because I am a big fan of Eminem. I would be really sad if I find out that his my favorite album of Eminem is named after some fart of some king. <laughs> I'd be like, I've never no, no, listened no, no. to this. Like I can I can almost 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 rule out B. Um, Should we double on that, C? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Let's Law do of it. averages. Let's, let's, let's go. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Please. So, you guys pick C, both yeah. of you. Please. Yes. Okay. Samai, open your eyes. <laughs> Oh gosh. Close your eyes. <gasps> oh no! Oh! We did it! We did it! Yes! We oh did it! Gosh. Oh my god, dude. Oh my gosh, it is 3-3. Three, three. Okay. And the scary. fact uh, Momozono was sick, I tried to find the uh, Japanese emperor that uh, he was sick. Die sick and of course not the flat you lens. All right, all right, all right. Okay, all right. dude, like we clutched it. We clutched we, it. We are now. Even I'm telling you, we're gonna oh. win this, right? So. Oh my god. Now if they get now, let's try to be safe. Let's try to go for. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, now is when we play it safe. 
they make a little mistake. We make a right call one. Bam. What if we do the Am last I, uh, one all together as a team? Like all four yeah. of us, and we can say different answers. Yes, because the points in the end they don't really matter. Odds. Okay, okay, okay. For for odds explanation for Kamikaze, you you win the tie by default. Okay. No, that's not how the rules work. Yep. You can't take I, any I, rules. Team Samai odds accepts accepts this amount. Accept. Yep. All right. If you go, guys never heard about, but that's true. There is a very popular contest in New Zealand. It's called the New Zealand Critic. Critically engaged bird of the year, so they name every year a new bird. They try to to make it popular and so on. So, in 2020, last year, Hihi, he, this bird was a candidate for for the title because maybe it was the only flightless nocturnal parrot in the world. B, it boasts unusual large testicles and engages in face-to-face -face mating. What is face-to-face -face mating? Uh, I'll, I'll make you a drawing out of the stream. Yeah, Samai, you could practice it on the yes. pregnant Barbie doll. <laughs> <laughs> is the smallest of all known penguin spe species, or I made all those up? All right, Samai, uh, yes. pirates, they must live in warm climates. I don't think they live in in New Zealand. I don't think there's... I don't They're think, not pirates in New Zealand? I don't... I, I'd be surprised. I think it's Caribbean, South America only. I think. I could be stupid. I, my my gut is go B or D because they would all they could all be made up. I don't. Th I think B is just Papa both is having fun, man. Does it attack sleeping and sleeping insects? Too? Yeah, the, 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 I'm sure that there's a reason why it's in danger because it's a stupid bird that doesn't know how to fly. That's a good point. If it is has large testicles and engages in face to face mating, there should be many of them, right? Because <laughs> all the parrots would be maybe, like maybe maybe it's a freak uh, bird <laughs> that literally is. Is dying because no one wants to mate with it. Should we go A and B then? Since we think it could be both. Okay, let's go with A and B. The same a answers as us, so okay. A and B? I don't I, I thought you guys picked oh. Oh, A and B. Oh, no, 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 it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, matter. It doesn't okay. matter. And the reason is that this hee -he bird was, uh, was got as a mascot for one of the um, adult stores in New Zealand. And the reason for that, That's it's exactly wow. what I told you. Wow. Wait, how, how is it hanging by that by that uh, by that branch? Is that its legs or? But where are? Oh, I never... So how about for the last question, we're only allowed to pick one? Yeah. To okay. Make it more intense. That'll be the final match as a team. Okay. So Opa, it's an expression. The question is who used it first? A. In 1874, the first director of Acropolis Museum in Athens during the grand opening day speech. B, in 1889, the Greek King Constantine, while accidentally dropping his plate during his wedding with the Queen Sophia. C, in 2020, by a chest Twitch streamer which, while sacrificing her queen in a winning position for no compensation. Opa! Okay. Or D. <laughs> we oh. will mute you guys and mute us, and we will talk. Well, the thing is, it cannot be D because C is true, it's just not first. So it's a true fact, but it's not used first. Oh, right? Okay. So, uh, didn't Andrea just mention in the beginning of the stream about Opa, about that plate falling, the queen thing? She that is a it? tradition That is a tradition in, in, in Greece, 100%. 100%, breaking, breaking plates. And I do think it might happen on weddings. So, like, the, the, the story kind of checks out. Yeah, Seems... and C is just having, he's having fun and D is also, doesn't seem right. I think it has to be B. Like All right, do you guys have your answer? I think we do. I, I have a bad feeling about it. Oh man, so Andrea had to run to a doctor appointment, but we have our final answer. We're, we're, we're going with B then. Yep. Oh, we were going with B also. So, well, let, let's see which it was. In 1889, I think the Greek King Constantine really married with the Queen Sophia but it's no mentioning about uh, anyone dropping any plates or anything oh, like that. no. Uh, so it was D? Here. It was D. And the answer is D. Oh, oh man. Wait, but how could it be D? Because, I mean, C is kind of true. I do it. So you can't make it up because C is a true fact. D did you use it first by any chance? Either way, no one selected C, no. So even if it was the correct answer, we still lose. <laughs> oh man, so we both, so it's 5-5. Five, five. However, we have the advantage because we said Kamikaze, yeah. right? So we went yeah, the edge, yeah. Easy, easy win 
and a victory for Charity. Congratulations, Austin. My, you guys did super well on some of these. On some of these. This was so much fun, man. Papa Brothers, man. Thank you so much. This was so much fun for taking the effort of making this. It was so, so much fun. It's one of the most fun quizzes I've ever done. Oh, I awesome. really appreciate. I really appreciate. Hon it. Honestly, yeah. like, I wouldn't mind seeing another one like this. Alright, bye Alex, bye uh, Papa with his Bye, 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 bye guys. Bye, guys. See, See you on your chat. Yeah.